Hello friends, this video on coal and petroleum part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So that's how the coal is extracted from the coal mines. Now once the coal is extracted from coal mines, so do you think that the coal which we get underneath that is directly used for the various purposes which we have talked about like where, where do we use coal we use coal maybe in the villages you would have seen that it is used for cooking purposes in the in the small stoves and all so that is one place where you would have seen the use of coal it is also used to generate electricity so the energy received from coal is transformed into electric energy in the thermal power stations but do you think the coal which we get as soon as we dig it, so the result of the coal which is obtained after coal mining is that ready for all these uses? Well, not really. The coal needs to be processed and that is why you have the coal processing stations. So where what happens there, so in the picture you can actually see uh, how a coal processing station would look like. So after processing the coal needs to be washed because there will be a lot of dirt, a lot of undesirable particles present over it. So it needs to be washed clearly and it should also be crushed because sometimes each piece of coal is like huge. So transporting such huge and heavy pieces of coal is really difficult. So in order to make it portable, it is crushed down into smaller pieces, they are washed properly. Now the more amount of waste material that can be removed from coal, the lower is its ash content. So the lesser the undesirable particle in the coal, better it is and lower is its transportation cost and better is its market value. So therefore all this processing of coal is done before it can be actually utilized for various purposes. So that's the next thing that happens. So first we saw where is coal present, how is coal formed, it is formed over millions of years and it is formed deep inside the earth. So how do we dig it out? By coal mining. So once we dig it out then what do we do? Coal processing. Now once that is also done, now all these things are done using automated machines as you can see in the picture. So and it is not an easy task to crush these big huge pieces of coal. So obviously you need machines to do this for you. So that's how coal processing happens. So now when we talk about the various uses of coal, we see that coal is most popular as a fuel. It is most popular as a source of energy, something which can be burned to produce a lot of energy. So why is coal so popular as a fuel? Firstly, because it is formed naturally. I mean, we do not create it. So every time it is formed, we know it is going to be the same thing. So it is formed naturally. It, ha it has less mining costs. When you uh, talk about other fuels, you see comparatively that the mining costs involved with coal is quite less. In fact, we discussed about some three techniques, right? The underground mining, surface mining and uh, mountain top mining. So out of this also we saw that in most of the cases, most commonly used technique is the surface mining and that involves very less cost. So the costs, you know, it is more economical also huge energy generation. So coal can actually produce a lot of energy. So and I hope you can understand that, that because of that only the energy which is produced out of coal that is used to generate electricity and for that purpose we have set up so many thermal power plants which are running only, uh, only with their dependency on coal. So they have the ability to generate huge amount of energy. So mostly the, the only thing that can help you to understand how much that energy is, is the generation of electricity. Because you can see the thermal power plants, right? They are able to produce so much of electricity. And what is their source? Their source of energy is nothing but coal. So these are some of the properties of coal which makes it very popular as a fuel. So there we talk about the thermal power plant. So in these plants, they convert the heat energy into electrical energy. And from where do they get this heat energy? By burning coal. So when they burn coal, a lot of heat energy is produced. And this heat energy is then converted into electrical energy. So heat energy is generated by burning huge amount of fossil fuels. 
Many thermal power plants are located near coal or oil fields. That's because then they get their raw material nearby. So as I said, coal field areas. Now in every country you have some specific coal field areas where there are a lot of coal mines present inside. So if you establish a thermal power plant near to that area, then it helps because coal is present in the nearby location. So you can actually utilize that coal to produce heat energy and then the heat energy can be converted into electrical energy. So for that, for that convenience, the thermal power plants are always set up near coal fields or oil fields because oil again is, when I say oil, I am talking about petroleum. So that is also a fossil fuel that is also a very rich source of energy. Now, not only uh, a source of energy, a lot of other useful products are also obtained from coal. So, there, so let us see what are the useful products that can be obtained from coal. One is coke, coal tar, coal gas, liquid ammonia. So, these are some of the very useful products. Now, we will talk about the uses of each of these. That why I am saying that they are useful products. So we will talk about their uh, uses. We will also talk about how exactly they are produced from coal. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.